Well, this looks straightforward, and it is, but there's a little trick to it. So there's my electrolysis setup with my positive and negative electrodes. Let's use sodium chloride in the liquid form as the electrolyte. Now those two ions, the negative ion goes to the positive electrode and vice versa. Now that electron on the chloride is pulled off by the attraction to the positive electrode and it gets pumped around the circuit. That's what the power source at the top is. It's an electron pump. It pumps it around the circuit and then drops it off onto the sodium ion. So the battery at the top, the power supply, puts electrons where they don't want to go. That electron doesn't want to go around to the negative electrode, but it's forced to by the battery at the top there. So what two things are conducting the current? Well, in an electrolytic cell, such as the one above, the current is conducted by electrons in the wire. That's half the story. The electrons are conducting the current in the external circuit and within the electrolysis apparatus itself it's actually ions that are completing the circuit and allowing current to flow. So the answer is electrons and ions.